everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm joined here at Regal Autosport. Now those of you who don't know, this is where I get all my bits and bobs done to my car. Uh, my previous car, my Audi A1, I got my Miltec exhaust fitted here and I've also been here on numerous occasions filming their Hurricane, which will be another video coming soon because I'm filming that today as well, uh, and also a Gallardo and a few other bits and bobs. Uh, but today I'm here to get the first major bit fitted to my Golf R. Now those of you um, who own Golf R's or know a bit about Golf R's will kind of know well, actually, you'll probably all know via the title, actually. Uh, I'm getting a Resdely fitted, um, and I'll explain a little bit more about what that is a little bit later. Um, but yeah, today's gonna be an exciting day. Got the Hurricane to film, got potentially another thing to film. Uh, but anyway, this video is all about the Gulf R. Things are getting exciting, the car is on the ramp. Uh, I think the old resonator is now being cut off, uh, but we've also got some other tasty things here in the workshop. The R8 uh, V10, V10 Spider is here for a supercharger, and the Gallardo underneath is one that you might remember. I filmed with that car a few months ago. That has also been supercharged, but if you guys haven't seen the video that I made with that car, oh, dog, hello. Ah. Uh, yeah, if you haven't seen that video that I made with that car, then I'll leave it up in the top corner now. Uh, we put it on the dyno, it's stupidly loud. Uh, and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, it's 800 brake. So, a bit of an animal, uh, but there's some more bits going on with that, uh, potentially, uh, which also I'm not filming today, uh, but we might do in 2019. Uh, but yes, exciting things are happening. Yeah, the guys here at Regal are busy doing my res delete. Uh, but yeah, this is getting very, very exciting. So here we go, this is the resonator. Now basically what this is, uh, just to give you guys a little bit of context, uh, it's basically a sound deadening uh, box which, which is based uh, kind of between the cats and the fat box it was just here uh, and it basically kind of deadens the sound of it makes it sound a bit quieter and meet various emissions tests which obviously is a VW so we don't know how uh, reliable that is uh, but basically what a resolute is is well it deletes the resonator and it replaces that with uh, basically a straight pipe which obviously makes the engine run a little bit better uh, and ultimately it makes it a little bit louder, especially uh, on the upshifts and the pops and bangs. Um, now, as I'm sure you guys are very aware, this is a very common um, and cheap modification you can do. And yeah, now that this is off, we can now replace it with uh, the Vag Sport Res Delete Kit. Okay then, so the res delete is now complete. Like I mentioned, it only took about 20 minutes or so. Uh, but what I did before we took it into the workshop is I gave it a few revs just to uh, basically now give you a little comparison of what it sounded like before and what it sounds like now. Like I said, it's a very cheap and simple mod. Um, and from what I've heard, it makes a massive difference. So I guess let's just find out how much of a difference that really is. <laughs> resonated to delete to my 2018 Golf R. For any of you guys watching this who are kind of considering to do this mod, do it. It's 140 quid from Vagspot. I'll leave the link to the uh, kit which I got. It's a highly reputable one to go for, uh, and that's why I went for it. And it's made a massive difference. This is just revving it. I'm actually really quite excited to have it on the road, get some load on it and see what the uh, gear changes are like. Uh, but that is mad. I'm a very, very happy and overly excited bunny right now. So, with a slightly awesome turn of events, we're now going to be putting my car up on the dyno. So that kind of solves my uh, need for putting some load on the car, seeing what it sounds like on the move. Going off into the dyno now. First time dynoing this car. Um, so obviously, other than the fact that it's got the Resolute, it's completely stock uh, performance-wise. 
it's going to be interesting to see uh, how much it runs and also have a car on dyno because that's just cool. Um, yeah, here we go. nice and cool because the car isn't actually moving obviously um, but this is loud and let's go find out how much horsepower we made now i think these things are around 306 310 stop i don't know if the resonators elite has made any sort of difference but uh either way first time putting the car on the dyno this is all very exciting how much did we make 322 322 nice check that out it's interesting to see if the wrestling actually made a difference, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to make a slight improvement, isn't it? So, but you're flywheel well horsepower here, so just over 320 on that last one, 322. Blue line is your torque, so nice flat 300 pounds feet of torque, making 260 wheel horsepower. Uh, nice lambda gauge down the bottom here, so Wicked. nice graph to print out. How fast do you actually get on the dyno? Uh, with, uh... That is in 4th gear, yeah. and it's only 100 miles per hour in 4th gear. So wow. speed. Is this a 7-speed one? Yeah, 7-speed, yeah. That's so... mad. 322 brake. <laughs> so there we go. I think I'm going to wrap up today's video here. We've managed 322 brake horsepower on the dyno. We've also had the Res Delete fitted. Um, yeah, I'm so happy. I'm actually yet to drive it. Uh, I'm going to stay here for a little bit longer because I've got a few other videos to film. One with the Hurricane and one with uh, a certain crazy R8 which uh, you'll hear about uh, at another time but yeah I'm an extremely happy bunny really excited to give it a drive um, and I'll, I'll let you know my, my thoughts um, in another video in the future uh, but for now I hope you guys have enjoyed a big thank you to the guys here at Regal for sorting everything out uh, top work as always uh, but anyway that is it for me today I hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come